Rupa Goswami first met Lord Chaitanya at Prayag or Allahabad. And on the Dashasvamedha bathing ghat of that holy city, Sri Krishna Chaitanya instructed Rupa Goswami continually for 10 days. Sri Krishna Chaitanya particularly instructed Rupa Goswami on the science of Krishna consciousness. So this, this is a term Prabhupada uses repeatedly throughout his books. He wants to impress upon us. It's a science. Science means there is a thing and there's a procedure and you get a predictable result. That's science. So this Krishna consciousness, bhakti yoga or bhakti mark is a science, a spiritual science. There are so many material sciences. That is all right. But there's also a spiritual science taught beginning ABCs, Bhagavad Gita. Then you go on higher to Srimad Bhagavatam. Then you go higher, this nectar of devotion or Chaitanya Charitamrita. This is post postgraduate study of the science of God. So just see how elevated I think you are. Otherwise, if I didn't think you were qualified, I wouldn't be speaking. I'd have to dumb it down. You know that expression, dumb it down? But I don't have to dumb it down with you. You know many of these things. I'm simply here to fill in. These teachings of Lord Chaitanya to Rupa Goswami are narrated in our book, Teachings of Lord Chaitanya, or in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Later, Rupa Goswami elaborated the teachings of the Lord with profound knowledge of revealed scriptures and authoritative references from various Vedic literatures. Srila Srinivas Acharya describes in his prayers to the six Goswamis that they were all highly learned scholars, not only in Sanskrit, but in foreign languages such as Persian and Arabic. After all, Rupa and Sanatan were government ministers of the Muslim ruler. These were not ordinary. They were special. That's why he didn't want Sanatan to leave. He was like his number one guy. The present Krishna consciousness movement is also based on the authority of Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada. We are therefore generally known as Rupanugas or followers in the footsteps of Srila Rupa Goswami. It is only for our guidance that Rupa Goswami prepared this book Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu which is now presented in this form called Nectar of Devotion. Now, this last sentence of this paragraph is very important. Persons engaged in Krishna consciousness may take advantage of this great literature and be very solidly situated in Krishna consciousness. Because what happens? Time goes on, doubts enter. And we know from Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna compared doubts to demons. So from time to time, doubts will come. But if you know this nectar of devotion or Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, you will be very solidly situated in Krishna consciousness. Everybody chant the Maha Mantra. <laughs> <laughs> 